Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the props. So that means props means how to pass the data from one component to the another component. That is what nothing but nothing but from parent component to the child component. So we are we are now I am assuming that you have a pretty good knowledge on the components basic how to create a component, how to register the component, how to call the component. These are all the things. I am thinking that you have pretty idea. Now we will discuss about how to have a communication between the two components from parent component to child component. So the from parent component to the child component, if you want to have a communication means, so it is possible through the props declaration. So how we will be pa uh, passing these props. So let's try to see it. So how we can define these props and all those things. Let's see. Now here, I am creating a new component single post single post dot view so this is a component and here we are having let's rename this one to single post okay so this is our component we are having and now in this component I am creating a template this is our template and in this view I will be having single post I will write here single post single post component so this is our single post component and in the app dot view so i want to register this component so how can i register it so locally i am registering it so a single single post from and here i can write something like component slash single post dot view okay so this is our single post and here i am writing single post like this so this is our single post now if you try to see the output here and if i refresh it yeah here we are able to see this single post so now this one has been initialized now what i want to do here i want to send some data from to the single post from here app dot view so how we can send here let's say that i am sending some title title is equal to leela web dev so i want to send some data so like this so this is the data we are trying to send it now in order to send the data to the component so we need to give something like a attribute value so this is the attribute name key name and this is the value we are trying to send it now how we can capture it in the single post so in this component we need to capture the title for capturing the title what we can do is this so script setup and we have a method available that is nothing but define props so in this one, so we need to mention the array of the properties. So what are the properties we are trying to send? What are the values that we are trying to send to this component? So this is the name. So what is the whatever the name you are trying to use it here? The same name we need to use it here also. I am using it title. That's it. So now what I want to do first one is first thing is if I want to use it in the JavaScript itself. So directly I can use it here. So here I can write that uh, title. So here I can write directly the title hopefully we are able to see the output now if you see the output here if i refresh this page i am able to see the leela web dev so i am able to pass the data from to the single post but the same title if you want to use it in the javascript in somewhere in the unmounted or in some method you want to use it means then what we need to do is so we need to add to some variable so here i am using it as a props whatever the name you want you can give it and here i can use console.log props dot title okay that's it so now if you see the output in the console you will be able to see the console here so now we will be able to see the console output so here if i try to see the output now we are we will be able to see somewhere leela web dev here i am able to see the output also so like this so we will be using this one both in the javascript phase and also in the template base so if i go here into this one so this is how we will be using so now notice that the arguments we are passing that one so define props is same as the value provided to the props option so that is a different thing so now what i want to tell you is not only like this so we have seen that it is an array type of representation right so now we for each property so what i can say is so now we are declaring it as an array not only like this, we can also in addition to the declaring properties using an array of strings like this. 
we can also use the object syntax also so object syntax means what i can say is so by using this object syntax we can mention the validation so valid or not a validation so we can expect the data type of that property for example let's say that this is a component title it is expecting it we are sending the string data so that means we are expecting the string data so here what i can do so here i can give a, give an object and the first one is the title and this is of type string okay so like this we can give now if you try to see the output here how it will look like so we are able to see the output same thing but if i try to give it as a number so if i try to give it as a number now what will happen let's see so if you see the output here somewhere you will be able to see oh we need to refresh it right so somewhere we will be able to see the error so somewhere yeah invalid prop type data type check failed for prop expecting the number with value none but got the string value with value lila web dev so like this we are able to see the warning so that if anybody if any if, if any not anybody if in your project if you are using the component and this component expects a certain type of props so like this we will be using so that, that is the about the props thing so now you have a pretty good understanding about the props so now props name casing so first we need to understand about this props name casing so if you have now right now we are having the properties props name casing so single thing title like this single single words we are having if you are having a if you when you declare a long property name so you will be having a scenario that you want to declare long property name means then we should use the not 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 we should so we we it is better to use the camel case because this avoids having to use the quotes when using them in the property keys so now if you want to for example let's say that instead of title you are having a post title so here i will be using post post title so instead of like this you need to mention it as an like this so now if you mention this one like this so here you can use directly post title okay so like this we can use it so normally we will be using like this only so name casing so here we can use it like this so this is also one and the same so no nothing no problem happens so we can use it without any problem here we are using the number we need to change the string okay so like this now for example let's say that if you are using this one in the dom plain dom means the html template this is not a valid string right so you can use the hyphen but whereas in the component thing and all those things so you can use the name casing just like the component declaration how you will be declaring so like this the property declaration also we can do it so that is not a problem so you can use the kebab case also when in the html thing if it is not supported most of the time so when you are trying to use the sfc's components so that camel case letter is supported when you are trying to use it in the dom so this kebab case will be helpful so the next time the next thing which i want to tell you in the props is the static versus dynamic props so right now i am sending only the static data so if you try to send i am sending the static data but if you want to send a dynamic data for example let's say that here i am having a post title constant post title so here i will be having post title is equal to so ref of ref of lila web dev i am having like this so this is our post title now i want to send this post title to here so that means i cannot use this one like this right so now i am i am mentioning this variable here post title let's see what will be the output if you try to see here i am able to see the post title directly but i need to get the value of the post title not the post title itself then what we need to use is we need to use a colon before this one so now instead of taking this one as a literal string value it will try to search for the variable name whether any variable name is existing or not so like this we need to give so this is one of the things so now we are using a uh, dynamic one so this is dynamic one so for example you can also use the vif and bind also but we are using the shorthand notation so this is the this is one thing now for example let's say that we can also send multiple props also for example i am sending the id so id is equal to 42 so if i am trying to send id is equal to 42 now here let's say that we are having another prop id so this should be of type number we know that id always will be of type number so we are sending id of type number now if you try to see the output so how it will look like now we will get an error most probably so why so property check will id the expected number value 42 but got the string value with value 42 so here the component is sending the 42 value as a string so if you want to send this one as a number means then you need to use the colon so here this time this time this will be directly it will be checked as a javascript expression not it as a rather than a string 
so if you want to send it through the id here post id if you are having means constant post id if you are having means then it will take ref of 42 then you can send directly the post id now first for for example let's try to see the first time this one so now we will be able to get we will, we will not get any errors right so we are not getting any errors and now if you try to see here so post id if you want to pass it means so here i can pass the post id like this so either way is okay in the same way the boolean value and also the array value like this these all the things also work in the same way object also work in the same way now for example let's say that so if you want to bind multiple so here well, let's say that we are having a uh, let's say i am having a single post so constant post details so here i am having a post details so in this one we are having title uh, leela web dev okay and another one i am having id it is of type 42 something number so this post details i want to pass it so post title is nothing but so let's say that post title or otherwise what i can say is uh, title is nothing but uh, post details dot title okay so this is of type variable so we need to use the colon and the id id is equal to post details dot id so this is these are things we need to send it now if you try to see here we will be having the title and the id so i change it to title so here title and here also it's a title so like this we will be having now you see the output so so far so fine we are not able to see any errors fine so now if you are having this object okay so if you want to pass all the properties so here what i am trying to do so here we are trying to send all the properties of this object so tomorrow if you are having any other thing means you need to mention here also another one so if you want to send all the properties of an object as a props you can use the vf and bind without any argument so here i can send something like instead of sending it here v hyphen bind is equal to post details i can send the post details directly that's it so now whatever the things we are having title and id will be sent as a prop so if you try to see the output same output so the same output will be working there is that output yeah the same output we are able to see it but this time we are sending all the properties of an object so that is one thing so this is the basic introduction about the props concept so hope you understood about this props concept and all the things if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you